So we worked together very closely and we came up with our first prototype. Look at the first prototype design. The dimensions are pretty same. We did some amount of innovation where we reduced some of the pipes. We failed miserably when we did the user testing. We removed the pipes that used for gripping in accidents. For example, you slip, you want to grip something, we removed those pipes. You can look at the CAD model. And we said, you know, we are all used to this plastic molded chairs and they are very comfortable, right? The lumbar support is very good. I said, why don't we use these plastic molded uh, seat backs? So we went to the seat manufacturer and we bought a plastic molded seat back and bolted it to the, to the palki. And we quickly prototyped this. We make, made the whole prototype in stainless steel pipe because now we have experience from Ajanta Palki. And a lot of people said, why don't you use composites? Composites will be lighter than stainless steel. But I knew from my experience that composites are very expensive and they, are, they have larger lead time for molding and processing and you know, implementation. And then you know, longevity also is an issue. We had more strength in stainless steel welding and local fabrication. So we also looked at that as our option. And we went to Katra again and we did the test and the porters were very unhappy. They said, oh, where are all my pipes? Because you saw there are so many reasons for which the pipes are there. We just, you know, integrated everything. We put one pipe structure around it. We gave a nice, look at this, how we gave the handle. We brought the handle forward and we look at the comfort of the person who is sitting. What happens with all of us is we always bothered about the patron or the pilgrim who is sitting. Here, the focus has to be the porters, not the uh, pilgrim. As I told you. The porters were pretty unhappy because there were some you know, serious issues of gripping, holding and it was not sitting in the pattern of their traditional palki and that change was very difficult for them. So we went back quickly and we made one more prototype. So here what we did, we copied their organization, we call it organization, the slopes, the grips, the angles, are you seeing now? Very, very close to the original palki. We just replaced the plastic with stainless steel. We added innovative manufacturing details so that the weldings will not break. We added an integral seat and we perforated the seat so that the weight is not big. So the seat doesn't need any maintenance. You know what happened with the molded seat, you know? It was very comfortable to sit. But on long run, the screws were coming off, the seat was getting weak and it needed to be replaced within six months. So the plastic molded seat was completely unacceptable. So we went ahead with the stainless steel integrated seat. And then again, we went for the you know trials. We, we found out you know what the issues are. See, there was this very interesting detail where this footrest was in the bottom and there was a pipe to support. When you're coming in and out, you could trip on the pipe. So what we did was we raised the footrest up. So when we raise the footrest up, the whole center of gravity went up and that's very detrimental for the porters. The center of gravity line is very critical for them. That is a very important lesson we learned from this prototype that we can't mess around with the center of gravity loads. So they also make the uh, pilgrim sit at an angle. So there's so much development of participatory design in this that the porters had done a lot because of their experience. They've been running this over the years. So they, with that experience, you know, we need to, you know, we need to learn very humbly. Sometimes we fail miserably, but we learned from them what are the critical factors and came up with all the details.